let me introduce you to a competition trials bike. Now you may be looking at this bike thinking, what on earth is that mountain bike I'm looking at? Why has it got no seat? Why is it so long? Why is it so low? Now, I'll grant you, it's a strange looking thing, but this is an amazing example of a bike with dynamic geometry, amazing strength and incredible lightness. It weighs nearly nothing, just nine kilograms. This is what competition trials looks like. Right, let's start with the geometry because that's one of the most incredible things about this bike. It's a 1085 wheelbase, which is actually really long. Next thing to notice, look at the height of that bottom bracket. If you draw an imaginary line from the rear axle to the front, you'll notice that the BB sits up from that line, 65 millimeters in fact. Now that geometry is really essential for trials riding when you're up on the back wheel, but I'll come to that. The rear end, it's really packed here. 380 mil rear chain stay. Now that is unbelievably short. And again, crucial for maneuvers on the back wheel. Look at that head angle, 72 degrees, really dynamic angle. The moves this bike can make are absolutely stunning. Now taking a closer look at this rear end, you can see there's an awful lot going on. Like I said, it's a 380 mil chain stay length, which is incredibly short. Now that's crucial for when you're up on the back wheel doing trials riding, making those maneuvers, you need a bike that can turn really easily. So it's got an incredibly short end, but there's a lot to fit in. You've got the brakes, you've got all of this chain set up here, you've got a chain tensioner. It's really, really cramped. But you can see by making the frame really adaptive to that amount of stuff they've got to fit in, that they've managed to do it because they've got the rear brake coming down really tight on this tyre. They've come up with all sorts of clever ways to adapt the tyre into the frame. So you can see instead of having a seat stay, these seat stays are almost coming over and actually crossing over the rear tyre. It's incredibly compact at the rear. Single speed because it's a trials bike, but check this out. Oh, did you hear that? Listen to how many engagements there on that front three wheel. That's so you can really engage the pedals really quickly. Front free wheel also means it's fixed at the back. So how are they keeping that chain tension? Well, if you look under here, there's a really neat chain tensioner hidden away. So it's not getting hit by rocks. Keeps the chain nice and tight. The chain stays still. Isn't that cool? Now look at that rear tire. 2.5 wide, absolutely massive. And that pressure, that's probably about right. You want that tire really, really soft and it giving you loads of bounces for those massive side hops. The rim, 47 mil wide, it's absolutely huge. And there's cutouts all the way around to get that weight as down as light as possible. Now look at this crank setup. We've got this little bash plate tucked away under here, protecting the chain from any rock strikes or obstacle strikes. You can have that set below there, or if you've run a left foot forward, then you can set it up underneath so that when you've got your front foot forward, the chain's always protected and it's a minimal amount of bash plate, optimum weight. Look at those pedals, they're absolutely deadly. If these things hit you in the shins, you're gonna know about it, but obviously it's trial, so you wanna keep your feet on those pedals. You need all the grip you can get. Now the brakes are obviously very, very important. And on this bike, it's the Magura hydraulic rim brake. Now this has become a stalwart in the world of trials. Uh, when I first started riding trials back in 1990, I used a Magura rim brake, not dissimilar to this one. What the comp riders tend to do though, is grind their rims down. So this is a really rough surface. And then you've got maximum grip on these sticky blocks. The brakes on these bikes are like lightning. They literally work on and off. You pull the front brake on when you're going along, you're gonna know about it. Moving up to the front here and things don't get any less dynamic. It's got a bolt through axle to keep the weight down. This super sticky tire on the front. It's got knobbles coming right over the edges so that you can catch lines on rocks when you're in those really technical sections. Look at the brake mounting. It's on the back of the fork, so it's really, really stiff. It's buffering up against the fork leg itself instead of the traditional mounting at the front. And look at this stem. You can see that cutaway angle. When the bike's up on its back wheel and the rider's body is right at the front here, this is giving them a maximum amount of space possible. The geometry on these bikes is so well thought out. And look at these bars, really high rise and quite an aggressive sweep. 
foam grips, which I've got to say are incredibly hard, but it's about getting the weight down and maximum control. Sharp Magura brakes, as I explained. Now look at this tapered headset. Look at that, cut away. Taking out as much metal work as they can to keep the weight down. So you can actually see the steerer tube through there. Neat little graphic on it. Man, I just want to ride this bike, it looks so cool. Now admit it, when you first saw this bike, you thought the geometry looked crazy. But now I've stood it up on its end, it all starts to make sense. Look at those bars, suddenly they're lining up. There's lots of space for the rider's hips in this area here. The brake levers are level because these bikes spend more time on their back wheel than they do on two. Love taking you through this trials bike, but I really want you guys to understand the difference in that two wheel position and the rear wheel position. So let's get someone on it. Blake Sampson meet <laughs> trials bike. Trials bike meet Blake Sampson. Hello mate. A trials virgin. Now dude, I want to demonstrate what this bike's like to actually ride. Right, Because well. the geometry's crazy, so jump on that thing and tell me what you think. First off, the bars are like facing the wrong way. Uh, well, just in the balancing position, how does wow. that feel? Easy to move around. Yeah, you feel light? Very light. Very light, right. Stand that baby up on his back wheel. <gasps> Don't know if I can. You can do it, you can do it, mate. That's it. Bring oh, it's back. easy when you're at the... Once you're up on the yeah, back when wheel... Yeah, when you're up, it's easy. It all feels right. Wow! I hope you've enjoyed my little run through what is a trials bike. I want to say a special thank you to Tarty Bikes, which is the amazing trials website that lent me this bike so I could show you it. So thanks guys for that. If you want to see what trials is all about, then why don't you click just here to see my what is trials video. Well, if you want to know what a dirt jump bike is all about, click just down there. <laughs> nice balancing, Blake. Why don't you click on the logo to subscribe, you get a brand new video every day of the week. Oh, and give us a Thumbs up, Give up. Right. Don't take your hand off that brake, dude. <laughs> <laughs>